The Conservative MP was asked whether he believed the UK government was closed to a Brexit deal and claimed he was confident Theresa May would get an agreement with Brussels by the end of the year. But when BBC's Andrew Marr asked him if the Prime Minister was prepared to implement further regulatory checks between Great Britain and Northern Ireland as a result of a potential hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, the debate escalated into a fiery row. The Tory party chairman initially replied, We've got a very clear policy on the table, we've outlined through the white paper how we think this could work, it does deliver on the referendum in. It gives a really strong free trade agreement with what is arguably the biggest trading bloc, our partners in Europe. I think the Prime Minister will get a deal that delivers on that, and we'll bring that back to Parliament in the next couple of months. As the BBC presenter was unhappy with Mr. Louis' response, he reprimanded the Tory MP for failing to address his original question. Mr. Marr said, that is absolutely not my question Brandon Lewis. We be prepared to accept further regulatory checks as between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK, or not? The Tory MP promptly hit back accusing the BBC host of working in hypotheticals and claimed he was being clear about the facts. Brexit News, Brandon Lewis and Andrew Marina heated debate over the future of Northern Ireland, Image, BBC, Andrew, you're working in hypotheticals and I've been very clear about the facts, Brandon Lewis he replied, well, the difference between my answer and your Question, Andrew, is your working in hypotheticals and I've been very clear about the facts, there is one clear plan on the table, that's the one from the government, as the Prime Minister said, the EU have got to come back to us on that. I think that's a deal that works and that's the deal we're focused on getting, the Tory MP added no Prime Minister would want to ever see a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland and said he was prepared to reassure Dep leader Arlene Foster on the issue. The row comes as Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar gave Theresa May a Brexit ultimatum on Friday when he claimed the Prime Minister had two weeks to convince Brussels and Dublin the UK is ready to agree to a Brexit deal. Mr Varadkar said he remained hopeful there will be decisive progress in the next two weeks to conclude a Brexit deal but warned there is still more work to be done. He said, there will be a summit in two weeks in Brussels that will be a time for us to take stock. I would be hopeful at that point that there would be decisive progress allowing us to conclude an agreement by November. That remains to be seen yet. I think there is a fair bit of work to be done. It's increasingly important that we conclude a deal sooner rather than later.